Welcome to the Shikama Live Show with your host, Shikama. Do you know why you know Mozart's name? Or do you know why you know most of the most famous people on the planet throughout history? Do you know why you know their names? Because they dedicated themselves at a very early age to doing whatever it is they became known by. And uh, I'm a little bit, this is a little bit of a rant and a little bit of a revelation. So, I know you you might know, well not personally, you might not be aware of who it is, but his name is Richard Sandrak. He's now the ripe old age of 19 to 17 years, 17 years old? 17? 8 goes to 2. Now we're in, uh, plus 19. Uh, t uh, 19. 27 years old. 27 years old. <laughs> Let's see if I'm doing my math correctly. Uh, you know him, might know him as Little Hercules. He, uh, came out to the world and got worldwide attention when you saw pictures on the internet of Little Hercules. At eight years old. He started when he was two. He was born in the Ukraine, April 15th, 1992. What does that, what does that come out to? He did 600 push-ups and 300 squats each and every day. He worked out for eight hours every day, and he had a strict diet. He got down to 1% body fat. I want to ask you something. You ever see people or, or hear the news say, Oh, they should just let the kid be a kid. They should just let the kid be a normal kid. What do they mean? They mean that the kid should do absolutely, absolutely nothing. That's what they mean. I want to ask you, 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 you logical adult people, should kids do absolutely nothing? Do you know that a part of American history, and now it's everybody else's history too, is that we put the kids to work. Otherwise, people will grow tired of kids. And why would they grow tired of kids? Because kids, uh, first of all, can't do that much uh, by nature of being kids or being weak and, you know, not able to take care of themselves. But they become leeches upon the family, you know. Uh, I've been talking to my mother lately, and my, my grandmother had 15 children. I've been talking to my mother lately, and uh, I, I some things are becoming clear. She hated, absolutely hated, and she refused to become one in a long line of succession of daughters who then had to take care of the younger brothers and sisters. Uh, so, so uh, because of this, the older sister had to then take care of everybody, you know, after her. So, uh, which meant that she got to run around and frolic around and do whatever and be bad. Uh, as uh, she now is confessing to me that she was a terrible, terrible child. Uh, and I guess that's what she kept put, putting that on me as I grew up. That I was terrible, terrible, terrible. When in fact, I was literally an angel. And when I say I was literally an angel, I mean I did nothing. I was as boring then as I am now, and I was never a kid. And this is what I kept hearing over and over and over. You should, you should be a kid. You should live a little. You should be a kid. What they meant to say was, you shouldn't be around adults. You shouldn't do things that adults do. You should not do much stuff mature people do. Uh, what were they talking about? My family was a political family. We were a diplomatic family, and so I went to diplomatic functions. Uh, so I was a short adult 
that run, ran around with my family greeting ambassadors and presidents and what have you, right? So, so uh, unlike Mozart who had that, I had the other thing. So I could literally walk into a room full of foreign dignitaries and work the room to represent the United States to the best of my ability. And of course it was fantastic because uh, that's that was my lifestyle and that's what I did. And of course they all invited me over for tea and what have you, right? I, I, I couldn't be a wallflower. You couldn't just sit and do nothing. So when they say stuff like, oh, the kid should be a kid. So they, they kept suspecting he was doing this and they kept suspecting that the father was doing this and that and the other to Richard Sandrak. And Richard Sandrak from day one said, no, there's nothing that's being dangerous other than I'm working out. Uh, now, eight hours of workout, I'm, I'm sure, uh, uh, wasn't bad because a very famous they moved the they, he moved the entire the father moved the entire family to Pennsylvania when he was two to and they put all of their hopes and dreams on their kid and and it and it, it did pan out he got sponsorships he was on the covers of magazines he was he did interviews he he actually represented health health companies and he was the he was the model or the face of certain companies. So he got sponsorships. He was he was making the money he, at the ripe old age of uh, from some like six on. He started competing and and uh, uh, I don't know why my mouth is bleeding. Anyway, <laughs> the show the show must go on. Uh, so when you hear Mozart and people say, oh, you should just let kids be kids. And they talk of, and they are normally they're directing this at parents. You should let the kids be, uh, you, you don't understand. America before what? 19, I'm going to say like 75. So it hasn't been that long that kids were allowed to just do absolutely nothing. But before that, kids worked very hard. Uh, the kid did all the chores on the farms. We were a farming community all the way up until around the 60s. Yeah, the 60s. We were basically farmers. As much as we want to look down on, on other countries, we were basically farmers. And the children were played a very big part of that. The Industrial Revolution happened uh, with children helping. And that's a normal progression, uh, financial progression of an actual uh, country. Uh, they have literally said uh, the, a nation has to go through that to reach the other side to become a modern society. So they have to go through the Industrial Period and in the, in the uh, Industrial Period requires child labor as much as people want to him and han oh oh my god we got this this is what america did this is how america got ahead you had children so the children could work on the farm you had children so we children could work in the factory and the children contributed to the family it's, it's an actual, real, live, financial uh, step in the building of a nation. Uh, people, people don't understand that. They don't take economics. They don't take economic history. They don't take financial history to understand that. They just, they just say, oh, children shouldn't do that. They just, just out of the blue, that's just children shouldn't do that. Why shouldn't children do that? And, and... As the Industrial Revolution progressed, by themselves, the factories became safer and safer and safer and safer and safer, not just for children, but for everybody. There was no need for OSHA and all this other stuff. 
So we turn to this guy, and uh, unfortunately, Richard Sandrak's father was arrested uh, due to domestic stuff at home. Now, knowing what we know today, do you think it's a possibility that he was set up? I think very much so. I think very much so. Because according to the information that I received, it was a one-time thing. And not only did they arrest him, they arrested him and threw him in jail and uh, locked him up and threw away the key. And the mother could care less about lifting weights. and not, she ha it, It's as if she didn't understand that they moved from the Ukraine to the United States for that kid. It, it's as if I, how, how is that, how is that possible? She didn't understand that they uprooted the entire family, moved overseas to go to the United States for that kid when he was two. So the father has this vision and the mother apparently had nothing, had no vision. Whatsoever. Now, if you don't think that somehow that the father was set up, uh, you know. Now, who who took the place of uh, Richard? I have no idea. You you when you when you see you know, everything is balanced, right? Everything's a seesaw. So if. If something goes down, something must come up, and I don't see anything that came up. You, you do you recall anything in the, the year two thousand or anything like that, around that time, going? I have no, I have. So I'm assuming that the only thing was a simple setup by the uh, wife, the mother of Richard. Uh, Richard no longer works out. Uh, he's working as a stuntman in Hollywood, so he didn't fall too far away from uh, what he did. So, I'm assuming, uh, by the looks of him, that he did not keep his money, or he spent it all, or or he, uh, he he's he from the pictures that I saw, he's he you know he's not a metrosexual or anything like that. He doesn't have perfect hair and and perfect. Per, no no perfect body at all his body is literally uh, nondescript he looks as he looks as good as me <laughs> and I'm not a bodybuilder oh no what did I do I'm sorry <laughs> what did I do hmm. okay sorry about that anyway thank you all for watching uh, please click a like and uh, leave a comment.